Hi y'all, Darren Andrew from DA Components. Just gonna do a new video today just to talk about my little memorabilia collection that I've collected over 25 years. When I first started when the cleaner, we used the good old fairy washing up liquid and uh, I sourced this one and uh, yeah, I just think it's a nice little touch to start the collection off. And uh, you won't be able to get one of them. So uh, the best washing liquid I always use now is W5 from Lidl. That's the best tip I can give you for tra traditional window cleaning. And then if you come to the window cleaning expos, cleaning shows, we had a selection of the Tory brass squeegee pin. And uh, you'll probably find that I'm actually wearing one now for the shows. We have them available. And if you're very lucky to have one, well done, because I don't think we'll have any left. That's a nice little feature. And then what I came across is what we call an aqua dapper. Now what this does, it threads to the end of the pole and then the angle adapter threads to the top and the pole always comes through and it connects to this part here. And as you pull the pole, it turned the water off and it was called the aqua dapper. And this is brand new, it's never been used, so I've done really well to source one of them. And that probably got into use when we were changing over from water fed to, sorry, from traditional to water fed. And then the next one I got released was uh, Aqua Tap. Very similar to that. Yeah, you thread it on the end of the pole tip, thread the angle adapter on. This time what you did is you turned your pole like so and turned it on and it turned it off. Brilliant little tool, but what I did find is that the uh, levers on the clamps of the, the water fed pole just started to wear out a little bit quicker than normal and I was forever changing the levers and stuff like that so yeah good product in its time but uh, yeah and then the next one that came into production was the univalve now to me it's probably one of the best products on the market to date uh, this time it fits inside your pole so you don't have none of that contraption on the top and very easy to fit comes with two little oil clips, fit inside, pull the pipe, pull the pipe again, turns it off. Probably one of the best on the market. So then we come to the bronze wool pad holder, the original bronze wool pad holder. This is how I got them when I first started making them six or seven years ago. Uh, I had upteens amount of these delivered and I had to take all the sharp edges off with a file and file the edges round drill holes and whatnot and make the uh, socket fit and then fit the actual bronze wall on it. As you can see this is probably one of the last in the generation so <laughs> and what you will find is it has the white stitching around the edge and this is quad zero bronze wall. Great for glass, great for PVC, great for UPVC, clad and conserve your roof and everything but the probably is bronze wall available on the market. What you'll find is there's two here we have the original one with the stitching round quad zero this one here it's a little bit too hard of course it's, but i have tested it on bits and bobs and stuff so i wouldn't have used i wouldn't use it on pvc and i wouldn't use it on cladding i wouldn't use it on conservative roofs or anything it's a little bit too harsh so those are the bronze wool pads that are available but it's not the old uh, quad zero original bronze wool with the white stitching so i just thought i'd give you a, a lesson on bronze wool there and then the alternative of that we released the walnut pad holder now yeah, the walnut pad same features of the original bronze wool pad holder comes with a socket goes on the first plate threads on the angle adapter inside your uh, on the uh, do dm multi tool and uh, very good all-rounder alternative for the bronze wool and then we come to the tucker brushes. I uh, acquired these a couple of weeks ago. I just thought, ooh, they look very good. And uh, yeah, these are really good. And I just thought I'd have to have them in my collection. And uh, yeah, I won the uh, auction on these. So I'm over the moon with that. So I'm always looking for new stuff. So with the tucker stuff, as you know, we do a few bits in tucker. We have the tucker alpha scrubber. It comes with 10 white pads, it comes with an over rinse bar, and it comes with a swivel angle adapter, and that's my go-to. 
uh, tool for solar panel cleaning for our gardens here. And then we come to the gardener's sill brush, medium mix. What you will find is you will never get one of these because the gardeners discontinue them and uh, they just went for different uh, ways of building the sill brush. But in my opinion, I just thought I'm going to have to uh, get one of them. So I kept an eye on it and I bought one and it's never been wet. So I don't think it will. And I just love them. And it also comes with fan jets because I love fan jets. So that's my little collection of uh, sill brush. And then we come to pump controllers. Uh, this is a V16, but I had a limited edition one. And uh, when this got released, it came in with all this presentation box and uh, a very nice presentation box it is indeed. And then we also have our own version of the V16. It's a digital controller at the front and at the side it has the control and that turns the floor up and down. It has the same features as the original V16s which is on the market. However, ours is slightly different. You switch it on, set your floor, and where you go, you don't have no pressure switch detection, no PS, no P5, P6. you don't have no dead end detection, no calibration needed as well. You just set your floor, and away you go. Nice, simple, straight, forward, fitting as well. So my next little uh, collection in my haul is Stars and Stripes Sorbo Squeegee, 18 inch. I use these for cleaning the shop fronts, as you can see. It comes with a swivel handle, and it has a quick release handle to change the uh, channel and the rubber. So yeah, it's a nice, nice balanced squeegee. I like, I like the look of it. And then Sorbo released a limited edition blue lightning, I think they call it. Same features, swivel, quick release handle. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think that'll ever get don't think that'll ever get used because it's just nice isn't it and then from that we have the Stacconi 12 inch squeegee probably the lightest squeegee on the market it's a retro squeegee it's a quick release handle like so easy to change it has the little brass ends to keep the rubber taut so you don't have to detail the edge then you slide it back on set where you want it and uh, it was a very good squeegee a couple of years ago I well, had a, a good old battle with Teddy Burrows in the window cleaning competition and I actually came second with this squeegee so yeah brilliant and it, it's super light you won't believe how light it is but the hall of fame that I do have is Unger released some squeegees which is fully carbon fibre the ultimate they call it it's 14 inch squeegee and it's all carbon fibre and it's nice presentation box with a little plaque and it actually has the number on there the handle as you change the rubber but you can probably think that ain't getting wet i won't be using that but i would be like to find a little round uh, badge they had and i think they made a, a jacket for that as well so that would be a, a nice little haul if i can find that so that's my uh, go-to uh, products that uh, i'm collecting over the air and last but not least i've actually required uh, a wooden pointer I've had that for a couple of couple of months now, and uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy. And thank you very much, Darren from DA Components.